Let's talk about network security. Let's discuss everything, uh, how you can transition to the domain, how is it linked to cybersecurity, what are the salaries like, is it difficult, is it easy, um, everything. Let's have an honest conversation with someone who loves the profession and I've been working as a network security professional for the last one and a half, two years now. So I do know quite a bit about the field, what it's like, what are the pros, what are the cons, etc. So let's start off by addressing the title of this video, which is why network security? I think reason being security is kind of like the need of the hour. I mean, if you look anywhere, you hear a lot about breaches, attacks, hacks, etc. And cybersecurity as a domain is ever increasing, especially over the last two to three years. And I get to hear this a lot, and that is, what is the connection between network security and cybersecurity, if there is any? And the plain and simple answer is, is that network security constitutes a very major portion of cybersecurity as a whole. You look at any major cybersecurity certifications, example, the CISSP, you have a complete domain that is dedicated to network security. Reason being, networking based or network based attacks hacks are pretty common and there are also a lot of mechanisms or ways where you can you know uh, detect an anomaly within the network and it can easily tell you whether your environment your organization is under the influence of any form of foul play or attacker or hacker etc hence given the fact that network security is such an integral part of cyber security it is ever booming and it is going to boom even more in the coming years because look everything is digital everything is going to be having an ip address everything is going to communicate over the network hence keeping your network secure is so so important and just because of this reason alone you can straight away tell that network security is going to be so important personally speaking i was originally working as a network engineer i mean that's where i started my career because i absolutely loved networking but over time uh, you tend to sort of specialize into different domains you know like some people may specialize into cloud networking some may go into um, some form of network security like i did some may probably look to get into software engineering which is completely uh, different if you compare it to like computer networking or network security and that's very common within it but network security just makes sense because it is like a more specialized form of network engineering. And uh, as I said, right, it's such a hot topic right now that it's a great advantage to be a part of this domain. And if you're considering network security as well, I would highly encourage and recommend you to make that step. Speaking about my journey, by the way, which I've already made a YouTube video on, on how I got into network security, ultimately starting off as a network engineer. but in short, I first worked as a help desk professional, then moved on to network engineering and ultimately somehow by fate or by luck or whether it was planned, I ended up in network security and trust me, it is probably the best decision that I ever made and I'll go as far as saying that network security is probably a better domain than network engineering. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I would say that. And um, the first thing is, which brings us nicely into remuneration, is that network security engineers uh, get paid uh, more better as compared to a network engineer. Uh, if you doubt me, you can just go to LinkedIn or any job portal and just type in network security and you'll probably see that a network security engineer is more in demand, it's more specialized and because of those reasons, it uh, pays you more as compared to a network engineer. You also will probably not see a lot of junior network security roles as compared to a junior network engineer role because a network engineer, I personally believe, a fresher can directly get into the industry as a network engineer. Uh, in a more junior capacity but as a network security engineer you won't find a lot of junior network security roles because you first need to be a seasoned or a good networking professional and only then you can make the transition into network security on this channel i've made plenty videos on you know network security network engineering how you can get into network security what are the different certifications and Probably there are about five or 10 different videos on that. But in this why network security video, I'll try to address everything and starting off with certifications. Certifications are essential when you're looking to get into network security. And um, it goes back to having the basic networking certifications first. So this could probably mean you having the CCNA, the Network Plus, which is offered by CompTIA, 
these are fundamental networking based certifications which are highly essential and it will also make sure that you're a good network security engineer in the long run knowing networking is absolutely essential maybe you don't need to know it as much as in depth as a network engineer would do um when i say a network engineer i mean like a more seasoned ccie sort of level professional um network engineer as a network security engineer as long as you know how to establish basic networking in um an environment and an organization ensure all devices are communicating with each other well uh, you know the fundamentals of networking and probably uh, up you know a beginner to in- not beginner but more intermediate level knowledge rather than expert would be enough for you to then make the transition into network security i mean that's what i did i worked as a network engineer for 2 years got the um, cisco oncore uh, certification which is one half of the ccnp which is a professional level certification offered by cisco and then i got into network security so to sum up the certifications i did were ccna um i did a couple of cloud certifications as well just to just because i wanted to learn about cloud networking and thirdly um the ccnp one half of the ccnp to be precise along with this you can also do vendor based network security certifications because there are some really big players in the industry when it comes to network security palo alto fortinet checkpoint pick your vendor practice labs related to these vendors at home so that you get good hands on experience and some good vendor certifications are probably the pcnsa or even some fortinet based certifications like the nsc4 for example the links are going to be in the description you can do your research go check them out see which certifications you want to get and that will automatically kick start your journey in network security while getting into network security and working in the industry is amazing and um i wouldn't probably have a lot of complaints about it but i do have a fair few amount of complaints and um those are as a network security engineer you've got to be on your toes reason being as i said right you have a lot of hacks and attacks that are taking place these days and these can easily be detected within the network at a network level any anomalies within the network can be picked up by a next generation firewall and intrusion detection system etc hence you've always got to be on your toes uh you can't take many things lightly when it comes to security you got to make sure that uh, everything in your network is nice and secure the other thing is is that as a network security engineer you've got to get used to working long hours or even the weekends for example because uh, in most places what happens is uh, you can't expect any downtimes during operating hours so any work that you got to do to firewalls or you know any network security devices because all your traffic goes through these devices so it has to be done during non peak hours or out of business hours and that ultimately comes down to let's say nights or weekends so you need to be used to working these hours i know it's not good but uh, trust me at times it is very fulfilling but at times it's pretty stressful as well yeah these were two probably cons or complaints that i would have from the domain but look uh, compare it to the pros that you can have it's very little and i'm sure that over time you'll get used to it and you'll be able to work around these cons as well and once you get into more senior network security positions probably then your main role will only revolve around actual decision making and network security standards rather than the real technical implementations so you know you may be probably more involved with designing secure networks or uh, getting some standards around network security laid for the organization uh, in a more leadership role probably this is what you would be working on as compared to a more technical implementation of network security when you first begin in the industry and sometimes you know i ask myself this question was it a good decision to transition into network security from network engineering and i think the answer has always been a resounding yes so for all these reasons that i just spoke about about network security what the domain is like the salaries the certifications everything i hope it gives you an insight into what it is like to be a network security engineer what are the things you need to do and why exactly should or would you decide to probably make that transition in to network security. I hope this video has been helpful guys. If you like it, do hit the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.